I have no idea how this keeps keeps happening. Uh, the narration will start in a bit. Sorry, guys. Hello, I am Vice Elric, and that last take was a bit too quiet. I couldn't tell you why I was quiet. Maybe it's because it's morning and I haven't really woken it up, or maybe I just suck. I don't know. Viewers, you decide. Yeah, Whack and Thwack are very effective against the Sea Dragons, so use that if you can. If you can't, then stick primarily with spells and abilities like Wind Sickle, where it hits every time. With the hero, if you're not keen on using any of his spells, use Falcon Slash because it hits twice and it gives you two chances to hit him. He's very prone to death, except for this one part, but I kill him next turn with Wax Spell. West Continent, you're going to want to go where I'm going right now, which is the Seaside Chapel. It's probably the only safe place you'll get to go to before you get to Baccarat, and which is where you need to go first. The game really doesn't tell you you're supposed to land here. Uh, however, the first time that I played through this game, I ended up there, and I thought, oh, this must be where I'm supposed to be. But I was uh, constantly nervous that maybe I didn't go where I was supposed to. But this is definitely where you are supposed to go to. I mean, it's not like Final Fantasy VIII, which gives you no direction of where you're supposed to go. Gamer who spent two hours getting magic from monsters so I could kill in two fucking seconds. I don't really have much love for Final Fantasy VIII, if you think about it. I have the game and I'll play it, sure. It's just that it's so fucking tedious and the story is... God, it's so convoluted. I preferred Final Fantasy VII. And that's not to say I think it's the best Final Fantasy out there, but I do think it, that it was a really good game and much superior to VIII. Aside from the graphics, but, you know, it's Final Fantasy VII. It's chibi Lego things. Which are awesome, I might add. No, this part's only five minutes long. Okay. I feel like two minutes left. Alright, if you have the magic key, go back there and open that chest. That chest has... Tough Guy Tattoo. A tough Guy Tattoo, which increases attack, I think. Yes, that is a... Uh, Floating sun. Toriyama must have been on crack when he made this. The character resorts to this. And the saber cats? You will grow to like saber cats, actually. Yeah, he just suck up that sperm and spit it out at you. That's disgusting. Uh, let's see. Why am I pausing? I unlock it and I get a tough guy tattoo. I'm going to save that for later. What am I gonna save it on? Um I think I'm gonna save it on for the tree and below tension. I think that's one of the ingredients. I don't know. And that spot is my computer screen is getting annoying. There we go. I had moved it in like a week. Alright, stuff in here. Um, the red NPC-ish person will tell you how far you uh, need to advance a certain skill to get to the next level. Pretty useful.
Yeah, all that's left is saving. You can go now. I mean, I'm going to. I'm Vice Elric, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.